Miguel, tomorrow we propose to go on a buffalo hunt. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the legality of hunting buffalo in Brazil and what are the preparations necessary? Uh, well, my friend, uh, the question is on the buffalo regulation yeah. uh, in Brazil is that by law it is the same as feral cattle. So it is an animal who doesn't belong to anyone, but he is on a, a specific farm. If you have authorization, a verbal authorization of the farmer, you can you can hunt it. But the the, the law who permits hunting in Brazil, who is the same law who permits uh, wild boar hunting, uh, only permits hunting where there there is wild, wild boar. So in the Pantanal doesn't. So the option that we have is not to hunt with firearms and but with bow and arrow. And what preparations do you need to make prior to going out on a hunt? I mean, for example, uh, today we've just been looking at the, the weapons involved in hunting buffalo. Um, what preparations do you need to, to take before you go out? Do you need to know, do you need to always go with somebody? Oh, uh, I do recommend that because uh, buffalo hunting is, is not easy, is not 100% is not, uh, safe. Mm. So every time something can happen. And it's that kind of hunt why I don't re recommend it never be alone. Mm. If you're in a situation where it is legal to shoot a buffalo with a firearm, with a gun, what about shot placement, Miguel? Where should you aim on the buffalo? Uh, well, the best shot uh, I can think is the behind shoulder, uh, heart, lungs, uh, maybe liver. Uh, always, always looking to, to make a shot in the heart or two lungs. Uh, or a shot on the cervical cord, in the neck, uh, in the high part of the shoulder, uh, in the head. I think this is the most efficient uh, shot possible because buffaloes are tough. Uh, no, no one other shot can be so efficient. Is it necessary to use one or two shots? Um, all the shots you got. Right. <laughs> uh, even if you make a good first shot on both lungs of a buffalo, always be ready to give another shot. Because buffaloes are tough, like I say, they can run long distance before they count down. So be sure that it falls down the, the soon as possible. And the stalk, Miguel, can you describe the stalk? Uh, well, uh, normally we start walking on places that we, we know buffaloes are around. Uh, uh, near lagoons and uh, near gra grass fields where buffaloes like to be. And we are, we are always looking for, for movements or for some sign of buffalo for some fresh track. And after we find it, we go for it. Uh, if we, we see a buffalo, we start uh, spotting and, and stalking. And we try to, to make this low, checking, checking the wind, uh, trying to, to make the uh, uh, lowest no noise as possible. And try to get the, the closest possible to make a clear shot. Miguel, I'm sure there's a lot more we can talk about and hopefully tomorrow we'll be going out to see buffalo in, I'm tempted to say in the wild, but here in Brazil, although they are in the wild, I don't want viewers to confuse that concept with the fact that they're in their natural environments because they're not, are they? They're not from Brazil. Yeah. Where are, what, what buffalo do you get in Brazil and where are they native to? Because they're introduced here, aren't they, in Brazil? Yeah. Uh, in Brazil, we got two species of buffalo and one of these species have four breeds. Right. Uh, we, we got the Carabao buffalo, who is the same buffalo that has in Australia. Uh, they have big, big horns. They have a, a, a beautiful white, white spot in the chest. And in my opinion, they, they are more aggressive than the, the other ones. And we got the Indian water buffalo, who have four breeds. 
uh, we got the Med Mediterranean, we got the Jafarabadi, who have the, the, the horns down, it's a beautiful buffalo. We got the Muha, who is a, uh, Muha means snail, who have the, the snail horns, very short, very short uh, and all twisted. And we got the, the mix of the, the Australian water buffalo and the Indian water buffalo who is the Marajoara. There is only one or two places in Brazil that we can find it. And just to confirm, the buffaloes are an introduced animal to Brazil. They're not native, are they? Yeah, there's a, uh, today there is many of them. Mm -hmm. We can find today in Brazil wild hogs, uh, wild boars, uh, water buffaloes, uh, axis deer, sandbar deer, uh, brown hares, and I think that there's more animals, but I don't remember right now. We'll continue this conversation another time, Miguel. Thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you, my friend. <laughs>